Hello, today I'll be going over the organization, the NCAA. So the NCAA is the National Collegiate Athlete Association, and the organization has three divisions that college athletes play in, and they are responsible for making the rules and running the games. So what is the problem that we'll be discussing? Well, the NCAA needs to select 68 teams for a tournament. There are 351 Division I teams to choose from, and there's a 10-person committee that will select the teams. And the approach that the author will be taking is that they are making a mathematical programming to rank these teams prior to the committee's rankings. And this program basically finds the dominant relationship among the teams and then the min-max objective function. And what they did is they tested this data with uh, 2012 and 2002 to 2016 tournaments by applying the data from each tournament to seeing if it aligns and they aligned pretty well and then they did the 2017 tournament prior to the selections so there's no selections made by the committee yet and they made that and when the selections came out from the committee they aligned up pretty well and what this hopes to achieve is have very consistent and close results to what the 10 person committee would choose, which it seems to, it has. Now, how much improvement did they make? Well, they improved a decent amount. They're able to have a program that can semi predict what the committee outcome is. Um, and it aligns pretty well. And what this would be able to have you do is have like a reference or predictions on what the teams will be in the tournament. And that could be used for just like a, I guess, yeah, just a baseline for what you think these rankings are and to have consistent rankings and not have like any outliers from the selection committee basically to kind of keep them in check as well. Now, this can be applied to other kind of things. Anything that is you can use this to rank stuff that has performance attributes in it. So you could do any sports team basically that where you need a ranking, you can rank them. And anything where there's some kind of performance difference. So probably ranking uh, washing machines or anything to see how the performance is and having stats on that, you can probably do that as well and rank them from the best to, to the worst and or to who makes it and who doesn't and that's something that's really cool i think thank you